Alright, so we have deemed our mod complete and we are ready for release. How exciting. <laughs> Let's uh, package our files. Right, so first thing I want to do is uh, get Archive 2 open. This is a program you can find in your tools directory inside your uh, Fallout 4 directory. It should be when you when you install the creation kit, this should come with it. And this basically creates BA2 archives, which you might have seen. Uh, I've got some images here ready for the upload as well, but you might have seen, if we go into data, you see mods use these sort of BA2 files um, to, to package, and you'd, you'd have the textures in one archive and everything else in the other, and then your ESP further down, which you uh, which then, uh, you know, they all get loaded by the game uh, in that way. You can have what's called a loose files version, where you just dump all the, the files in as they are, you know, DDS files, NIF files, just straight into the... Uh, the, the you know the, the raw file which you're going to make which I guess is okay but it's not ultra clean and if you have you get things like conflicts for example every mod with custom animation is going to have an anim text data folder and if you install a loose files mod that's going to put all of its anim text data files all of these files into your data as well which you probably don't want because then you know all the different weapon mods which you're using which have different custom animations they'll all get scrambled in together it's uh yeah it's uh, messy <laughs> so the best way to avoid that is to to archive uh, there's also something else um i think i'll put a tool tip on the screen for this but i think loose files load first or maybe uh, loose files are loaded as the game needs them, whereas BA2s are loaded at the start, which I think slows down the main menu or something. I'll uh, I'll I'll investigate and put a tooltip. I can't quite remember right now. Okay, so yeah, I opened this a second ago. This is my GitHub local repo repository, where I basically put all of my development files and I upload to GitLab. Uh, so GitLab is a, a sort of version control. Uh, kind of site you you uh, you you can sort of you know upload your files and have them you know be online and and sort of safe <laughs> as well as roll back any changes which you you may have made. I'm not going to go over GitLab and all that stuff because that'll be another half hour long video <laughs> or more. So let's uh, just crack on. So I also have this folder where uh, yeah it's just an empty folder right now, but it's uh, just where I set up my, my mod files for any different versions that I might have. So the first thing I want to do is just copy in the ESP. So that, that just stays as it, as it is. Next, we'll take the materials, meshes, scripts, and sounds and drag them in. So all of the folders other than textures you want to drag in. So we have these, and then we'll check our archive actual settings. Now by default, it'll have this. Now if you don't have sounds, Default compression is fine. If you do have sounds, you want to set it to none, because for some reason default compression kind of really messes up the sounds. I think sounds are one of the heaviest file types in terms of uh, file size. So if you are running default compression on them, uh, yeah, they get pretty heavily blasted by the, the algorithm. So we'll hit save, get the name of the ESP, and then hit dash and then main enter that gives us the main BA2 and the naming is very important it has to be space dash space main uh, otherwise the game won't pick it up properly and load it so next is the textures we're going to set compression to default and the format as DDS going to my standard textures folder the reason why this is standard is because I might have you know high quality textures in the future and I might want to you know drag in and create a different textures.ba2 for the high quality textures but for now it's just this so drag the textures folder that puts everything in again save this time as you might imagine textures will take a bit longer because there's more uh, more files bigger file size to think about and when that's done we'll archive it go to best Simply archive that, and now our RAR is ready to go. So we can go to the Nexus first off, and here we have, uh, yeah, the files page. It's not yet published. Uh, here's one I did earlier, but all you want to do is just put the put the name of the mod here. 
you know, file version would be 1.0. <laughs> That's my layer. <laughs> That's how many uh, updates I did to it. Uh, yeah, main category. And then the, the description, and you just drag the file here and save it. I don't know why I'm even explaining this. It's very straightforward. But yeah, that's done, so let's publish. Haha! How exciting. Yeah, make sure you have a nice flashy mod page to make sure people download your mod. <laughs> ah, how meta. Uh, so yeah, right, so the next thing is the Bethesda.net upload for uh, yeah, PC and consoles. So we don't need this anymore. We do need this later on. All right, so you need the creation kit open for this. We're gonna first log in to Bethesda. And then we'll go for upload plugin and archive to Bethesda.net. All right, so here is creation kits archiving uh, UI we um it'll grab it's pretty good at grabbing stuff that it needs so it'll definitely get all the sounds meshes and textures we don't really need to worry about those what it will also grab though are some of these so we need that because that's ours it will grab some sort of um, extra extra stuff which we don't really want it to grab for example here this is actually a vanilla uh, cube map so we don't want that we also don't want any of these. They might be used somewhere, but because they're vanilla textures, we don't need to uh, pack them again because these will just unpack the <laughs> exact same vanilla textures over the existing ones and they add to our file size, so we do not need those. Uh, let's just click here to make the names go in order. Are you sure I'm using that texture? Yep for the reflex, I didn't make a new reticle or anything. Did all of these are the hunting revolver paths. IQ map, I've no idea why that's there. What the hell? <laughs> uh, what else is there? All our sounds, glow spot linear, yeah, using that. And then these are, yeah, also, We don't need those. I swear the ordering is changing every time I remove something. A bit confusing. Lucky for me I didn't do a million textures for this so it's quite easy to see through what I've done. Okay, good. Now we want to actually add certain files. So we want to add all of the animation files to start with because Creation Kit does not pick that up. Oh, let me check something. All right, I'm going to have to quickly regenerate my anim text data because I did change some stuff. Or do I? No, I don't. I changed stuff, but I haven't added it into the latest uh, version, so we're good. Okay, so we'll first select all of these. So, actors go to first one. Yep. So that's all added. That will uh, whack onto the bottom. What you unfortunately can't do is select a folder and have it, you know, you can't select and then hit open because uh, it'll just open the folder. <laughs> you have to go in and actually select every file itself. Right, so those are all in. Actually, I do not want the melee right now. That's a test file that I'm doing. Unique melee for the Sequoia. Not quite finished yet. That'll be in a future update probably. All right, so done character first person animations, hunting revolver. Now we need to back out and do the third person animations. So that'll be all of these. You do get quite good at uh, remembering the actual paths <laughs> for. Uh... For your animations after this, oh, there was another folder, wasn't there? Nothing in there, so it doesn't matter. Synth. Okay, now power armor. So power armor, first person animations, hunting revolver. Just two, nice and easy. And then there's no third person animations. 
I'm checking for some reason, I don't know why, but yeah. Oh, okay, there's a few sort of test ones. Might as well throw them in, because we don't want anything to seriously break. So that's done. Now, don't forget, we need to add the actual anim text data. So that's the first folder. I just have to concentrate for a bit while I do this. Remember which folder I've done and which ones I haven't. So fourth folder. Fifth, nothing in there. Sixth, nothing in there. Seventh and eighth, okay. All right, so that's that. What we can do now, which is really helpful, is actually export this list. Let's go to... and paste it here. So let's call it archive list, because that's what it is. It's an archive file list. Okay, that's saved. So if you ever want to do an update in the future, all you need to do is hit import list and just, yeah, click that file. And remember to add all of the additional files which you might have updated with. <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, you'll, you won't have to ever again select these animations or uh, all this anim text data. All right, let's hit pack files. And I'll do that. Then we create a new mod. And I'll probably copy the description that I've already done. You do have a character limit. And I'll probably edit this later after I've finished recording. Okay. So let's tag all the necessary categories. You kind of want to hit as many of these as you can <laughs> because uh, your mod will turn up in the uh, the search more often. Uh, but yeah, let's leave it as that for now. Hit create and then creation kit will upload. It's only a 50 megabyte mod, so should not take that long. I was actually surprised that it wasn't bigger. <laughs> okay, we simply click the button. I might have had to lo actually log in first, yeah. Helps if you're uh, <laughs> logged in. Oh, it's going all over the place. Right, let's try again. Here we go, right. All right, so this is our work in progress mod page. We can set up all the uh, all the images that we need, the, the thumbnail and stuff. I haven't actually created that yet, so. Um, but I'll, I'll do that uh, once I've stopped recording because it does take a bit of a while. Uh, yeah, all you need to do is hit publish and you're good to go. The, the only really complicated part was, uh, oh yeah, you also wanna make sure your version number is custom. <laughs> we don't want any version 7 or whatever. Um, yeah, the only really complex part was uh, selecting, make sure you have the, all of the files selected. Uh, I should probably name it PC actually. So yeah, in terms of the uh, Xbox upload, what you should probably do is actually reduce your texture sizes um, so if you have any sort of 4Ks, you want to reduce them to 2K sizes and uh, and so on, 2Ks to 1K, that kind of thing. Uh, because obviously consoles uh, have, yeah, the, w with PCs, people can choose whether they want the sort of the high quality textures version uh, because, you know, it's, it's their business what they put in their PCs. <laughs> they could have a really beefy card and be fine. 
uh, whereas console users are kind of stuck with what you give them so you just need to be mindful about it and there's not a massive amount of difference between a 4k and a 2k texture especially if you're you know actually good at uv mapping and use the space properly then a 2k map can be better than a 4k um so yeah you just want to just don't don't make the uh, texture sizes huge for console because they won't enjoy it. <laughs> That's pretty much the only thing that you need to worry about in terms of the, the, the files for console. You just uh, repeat the same process, just go file, upload plugin, Xbox. We'll import the list, make sure we have the archive list imported and then we'll do the exact same thing. We'll pack the files. If you upload again, it, it'll say existing archives. Uh, do you want to use them again? I think if you've updated files, you don't want to do that. You want to create them again and new. And yeah, just go through with uh, creating the mod again. Uh, exactly the same way. Very straightforward. Okay, so to sum up everything really, I hope you've enjoyed and or learned something from the tutorial. <laughs> what I hoped you did, since it's over 12 hours long. Um, but yeah, I really hope it's been useful. I've watched so many tutorials in my years and, you know, taught myself 3D art and how to mod from scratch. Uh, thanks to, to video tutorials like this one, so... I just uh, wanted to give back to the community. If you need any help at all, just post in the comments, uh, preferably under the, the video of the topic. So if you have an animation question, just throw it under the animation video. And there'll more likely be people who are familiar with animation in there to kind of give you a tip, if not me. It's also a really good idea to get involved with the community, you know, post on Nexus forums. That's how I started out. Join the the many modding discords there are for Fallout 4. And yeah, just get involved. People are always happy to share a few tips. And I'd love to see, yeah, more modders on the scene. Especially if, um, <laughs> I was about to say, especially if it's thanks to me. <laughs> it's so, so egotistical. But no, really, if, if, you know, if this tutorial helped you, then yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. You know, if you release a mod and... I helped you at all then yeah let me know because i'd love to see the results i did spend a long amount of time on this tutorial so <laughs> it'd be good if something uh, came out of it if you want to donate i'd really appreciate it i'll put a link in the description but otherwise hope you enjoyed it it's certainly been a labor of love for me and uh, i might be adding a video here and there to the playlist uh, to kind of cover anything that i might have missed but otherwise, yeah, that's uh, the Rizzler signing off. <laughs>